what is going on guys welcome back to another video so it's summer here in ukraine and it's been really 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 hot and so we decided to go on a little trip and we got the car and we are going to western ukraine okay we're gonna stay at the cottage over there we're gonna rent something nice and we just want to get out for the weekend a little bit longer than a weekend uh, it should be a fun trip it's a long drive and so we have about uh, three and a half hours four and a half hours to this city in the middle called Rivne and from then we are gonna drive another four hours to this part in Western Ukraine and this is all the way in Western Ukraine the region is called Zakarpatska Oblast because it's Za Karpatami. Karpate is the mountains, Kar Carpathians and so this region is like near Hungary all the way over there all the way in Western Ukraine and so we're gonna be blogging it, showing you the size, showing you how everything is. It's gonna be a lot of fun. guys we made it to Zhitomir which is the next biggest city from Kiev when you're heading to the western part of the country it's on the main road and it's a you know it's a relatively big city by Ukrainian standards but it's not a special city there's really nothing to do and the reason we're stopping here is to get some food to have a little break maybe get some burgers or get some steak or some pizza something like that and then we're gonna be continuing on our journey we have another 200 kilometers before we sleep tonight and so we just entered the shopping mall here and we're gonna go to the same place we went to last time which was new york pizza is the name of the restaurant we had some pizza last time and i think this time i'm gonna try maybe something else although i am kind of hungry so maybe pizza but we'll see all right guys so i ended up getting the pizza i succumbed to the pressure and i ended up getting the pizza my lady here is killing pasta bolognese the, the pasta never had a chance this time it was outnumbered outgunned but i'm gonna having i'm gonna be having this three meat pizza right now this small one looks pretty good all right we finished with our pizza and our pasta and now we're going back to the car and to be honest with you, I don't think the pizza was the best one I had in my life. It was probably like, I want to say a 6 out of 10, maybe 6.5 out of 10. But it was a nice little break to get back on the road. We got another two hours to go, and which is not too bad. And then we're going to crash at this really cool hotel. And one thing I want to point out, just how warm it has been the last couple of days. It's nine o'clock in the evening and it's like 29 degrees right now Celsius, which is around 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is insane. It's been like 37 degrees during the day, 36 degrees, so over, way over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is absolutely crazy because it hasn't been this hot in like many years, in like 50 or 60, 70 even years. It's been a crazy, crazy heat wave here. But I treasure these nights, these evenings. It's kind of like in Latin America, in Brazil, in Miami. Super warm, super nice. Really, really loving this weather. What's good, guys? So we just made it to Rovno, a city in Western Ukraine. Halfway, very close to Lviv. Lviv. And we're checking into the hotel. It's 12 o'clock now. Just made it super tired. Just really exhausted. I'm gonna be a one night just to get some rest, take it easy. You know, this driving in Ukraine, you gotta spread it out, especially at night. It's, um, the road was good, but still, it takes a lot out of you. Maybe because I'm getting older, I don't know, but now I'm gonna show you the room in this. All right, so here is the room, behold. We have one big room here with a nice queen size bed, which was a requirement. And we got a TV, 
we got a bathroom I'll show you that in a second we have some drawers here uh, for clothing we got water which is nice because I'm thirsty we got some tea kettle what else do we have we have some books casual some some random books here and that's about it let's go check out the bathroom together I haven't seen it yet I am excited I'm excited to see the bathroom and the bathroom looks very nice we have this we have the shower the toilet boiler over here and some towels so I like this I like this number and this number is around thirty dollars per night which I think is not a bad deal and so now we're gonna go to bed it's so tired it's like 12 after 12 after midnight we got breakfast tomorrow at 9 30. Uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow good morning from the beautiful Rovno Ukraine just woke up to this glorious glorious day from the hotel balcony absolutely beautiful day not too hot not too cold about 20 degrees celsius which is about 70 68 degrees fahrenheit and the plan for today we're gonna get breakfast we're gonna chill for a little bit we're gonna check out and we're gonna start driving west more west and chances are we're probably gonna stop by in lviv for a break because that city is it's a big city there's a lot of things to do and it's halfway to where we need to go because we have a five and a half hour drive ahead of us and Lviv is going to be about two two and a half hours something like that two hours and 20 minutes and it's it's a good city as any to stop and just relax have some food uh, take a break so it's going to be a lot of fun a lot of driving a lot of exploring in this beautiful beautiful part of the country so we're having our breakfast here we got the bruschetta the classical bruschetta and then we got these crepes with this sweet uh, i think it's called some seeds a uh, poppy seeds or something in russian it's called mak and i think even in hungarian it's called mak this is really really delicious if you've never tried it. i think in english it's called some seeds poppy seeds we got some uh, ice cream here and then i'm getting my plate too right now going on guys welcome to Lvov or Lviv as the locals call it Ukraine and if you're not sure or you always wanted to know but you were afraid to ask Lviv is the most beautiful city in Ukraine it's the most European it's the most uh, coziest I would say it's it's a it's it's a great city and that is because during World War II the city did not really uh, fight the invaders it basically just you know opened their doors to everybody and that is why it was preserved and every time we come here we always have the feeling that we're in Europe it's such a great feeling to be here such a such a great experience and this time it's the same thing it's the same feeling it's the same story it never really gets old right this is completely different than any of the other cities so the plan here we're gonna walk around have a bite to eat maybe get some coffee we still have another three and a half hour drive to the south south uh, to the south part of the country and so we're not gonna be spending a lot of time here just a little bit and uh, then we want to go back in the car and drive for three and a half hours because we want to get there you know at a decent time 
And so check out these streets, these cobblestone streets, the, uh, the rail for the tram, the buildings, look at all those small buildings, it's just different feel. As soon as we arrive here, it's a, a much better feel, it's almost like you were here in Europe, which I want to stress out. And we actually have a video here on Lviv, you, you're going to check it out, it's going to be linked in the top right corner, you'll be able to see that video. They had some kind of a hurricane here last night and all over the region, look at this, all the trees are broken, you had billboards all over the place. We saw it all throughout this region, it was pretty insane. I, I've never seen anything like this before. And while Marina was walking around, look what we discovered here, kebab house. Look at this, we're gonna try it out, we're gonna try it out. All right, I got my Iran, Baku Dan, interesting. And I got my uh, kebab. And this place is called Namangal Kebab House. And all of this cost me 141, but this also includes the tea, which is less than a dollar. So you can do the math right here, 141 green right here. Let's try it out. Hope it's good. Uh, so I'm trying it out. It's actually pretty good. Take a look at that meat right there. It's actually pretty decent. I was surprised. I like it a lot. So we just finished that kebab. Well, actually I finished it. And I really liked it. You know, it was a donor kebab, so it was different than the stuff we had in Armenia. But I would rate it probably like nine out of 10, maybe. Eight, 8.8 .8 out of 10. I really liked it. It was very, very good. I would definitely come back to this place. If I was walking by it, I would stop by again. So maybe we'll stop by again on the way back. Uh, when we we're driving back to Kiev. And so what's nice about here being in Lviv right now is that it's not very hot. It was super super hot in Kiev. It was like 36 degrees, 37. And here it's like 20 degrees, 19 degrees. So it's kind of on the verge between hot and cold. And this is perfect weather for exploring, for walking around. And uh, it would have been a lot worse if it was like 36 degrees, which was absolutely insane when we were in Kyiv. Extremely, extremely hot weather. And this right here is the main square. The main square of Lviv. The main square where a lot of action happens, a lot of tourists, locals, everybody. And this is a three-day weekend. Monday is a holiday. And as a result, you have a lot of, you know, locals coming. You also have people from Poland, neighboring countries coming here to hang out. And I gotta tell you, it's freaking gorgeous. I feel like I'm in, I don't know, Prague or Vienna or somewhere. It does feel like that. The people are a little different than Kyiv. The whole feel is different. Very, very nice. Really cool. Right, so we stopped by this beautiful, beautiful cafe. And I got some green tea here and Marina got coffee, Americano, without milk. And look at that view, it's absolutely gorgeous. We have the cobblestone streets, we have these old school buildings, people just chilling. Man, it doesn't even get better than this. It's like being in Prague. It's so gorgeous here. And now we're heading back to the car to continue our journey into the Carpathians, Carpathians Mountains. We still got about three and a half hour drive to make it. 
and uh, I don't know the road, I don't know the conditions, so we should get started right away. But this is a gorgeous city, can't say it enough, absolutely amazing. driving through the Carpathians mountains and it's absolutely gorgeous it's absolutely a gorgeous drive but Google is showing that we have traffic backed up an hour due to some construction I really hope this is an error on Google's part but uh, this kind of road this kind of route in the United States would take we have about a hundred kilometers left 94 kilometers and it says we have to go two hours and 15 minutes so you have to understand 100 kilometers is about 60 miles and in the US you can cover that less in less than an hour and so we have 215 I hope it's a mistake somewhere I really hope it's not but Google is rarely wrong and so I, it looks like we're gonna be stuck about an hour more or less maybe over an hour in traffic because of some road works and we are gonna be getting to this um, resort place at 7 30 p.m. and it's uh, 5 16 now so we have another two plus hours so let's see how it goes I'm not really we're not definitely looking forward to spending uh, an hour just standing waiting for the road works to finish or to let us through or whatever so let's see what happens and so there you go Google was right Waze was right <laughs> we have about take a look at this an hour and 15 minute delay before we get to our hotel and that means it's gonna take us two and a half hours to get through 83 kilometers which is absolutely insane because you can typically cover this um, in an hour no less like less than an hour on a normal road and so it's a lot of fun and we are stuck we're in the middle of the mountains and that's the situation so it's gonna be a lot of fun waiting hopefully it's gonna be a little bit shorter we'll update you soon so I think we've been standing for about an hour and it's still really really heavy traffic but we have a solution we're watching a YouTube video it's about 40 minutes or so and hopefully that's gonna help us get us through it because otherwise it's crazy what you know this traffic that we're standing like an hour plus and as you can see it's all backed up over here hopefully it's gonna be finished soon that awful experience hour and 20 minutes in that traffic jam which was insane and there were like two guys doing almost nothing so we're done with that and now we are here in a in a viewpoint this is like a vista point here to check out the beautiful mountains and it's absolutely gorgeous here guys absolutely insane you gotta see the view Check out this gorgeous view. Take a look at those glorious mountains in the distance. This is what I'm talking about. And Ukraine is a very flat country, right? You're never gonna see this anywhere. It's such a flat country that it kind of disgusts me because it's so flat. You go to Armenia, it's beautiful mountain ranges here. There you go, kind of the Switzerland. 
the Switzerland of Ukraine. Look at this. Everybody's taking pictures. Everybody's enjoying themselves. Absolutely gorgeous.